Okay, now we, we have, after having some familiar with the spherical uh, coordinate system, we're going to see what's the uh, algebraic relationship between the xyz coordinates and the rho theta phi coordinates. Okay, so as you said, you have a point P here with x x y z coordinates and its corresponding rho phi theta. Let's see what's the relationship between them. What is phi? Phi is the angle of the line segment between P and the origin. Yes, and uh, and rho is the the length of this line segment. So this is your rho. And then this thing is your r, right? Which if I draw the triangle, right? same thing up there. This side, the perpendicular distance directly to the z-axis is your r. So this makes a right angle triangle. And, and this height is z, right? So your triangle is z and r and the hypotenuse is rho. So from here you can get directly the relationship that z equals rho because z is adjacent to phi cosine phi and r is rho sine phi okay you furthermore have you know the relationship that x is r cosine theta and y is r sine theta right this is just coming from the uh, what R means back in the polar coordinate system, which is the same as the cylindrical coordinate system. So, if what you do is you plug in R here, and then you can finally conclude that x equals R is rho sine phi cosine theta, y is rho sine phi, right? Because R, R is rho sine phi sine theta and z is rho cosine phi okay so this gives you the relationship if you already know the spherical coordinates of a point you can extract from that the xyz coordinates by doing this on the other hand if you want to go back meaning if you're given xyz coordinates and you want to go to the uh, spherical coordinate system the one fundamental relationship we keep in mind is that the rho square by, by applying Pythagoras theorem two times right we discussed this in class the diagonal of a 3d box rho square is x square plus y square plus z square right using the distance formula which you apply in one uh, one dimension at a time until you come up to the three dimensions so if you had to go from x y z to rho theta phi this is how you find the rho the square root of that would be the rho uh, to find theta well, to find phi what you will do is you will uh, uh, cosine of phi right cosine of phi equals z over rho so you, you compute z over rho once you have computed rho you compute z over rho and then you, that will be cosine of phi then you will do arc sine arc cosine of that and you will find cos uh, the phi itself and finally to find this guy because once you have found phi then you can find the sine of that phi yes and so then if you look at one of these equations you know x you know rho you know sine of phi you just don't know theta so you can extract from that cosine of theta or you could use this guy and extract sine of theta okay all right, let's do quickly a couple of examples to illustrate that. I will leave this up here. Okay. Now let me raise this. Why is it that this thing is not working? Okay, let's see now. Example one. Suppose you are given this point 2 pi over 4 pi over 3 in spherical coordinates. Okay? So, how does this point look like? Let's try to get familiar to understand this point. You see, remember this is your rho theta phi. So, it's saying that you open an angle of pi over 3 which is 60 degrees with respect to z axis pi over 4 which is 45 degrees with respect to this 
45 degrees with respect to this, you get this here. Um, this is pi over 4. And then on top of this, you go up, you open an angle of six, pi over 3. Right? So, like this. And then on this arc, you go a distance of rho equals 2. Okay? Rho equals 2. So this is how you find a point in your uh, 3D coordinate system when you're given its address in the spherical coordinates. And to find the values of these things, you will just do the computation. Um, you know, uh, so x would be 2 sine of phi, which is pi over 3, uh, cosine of theta, which is pi over 4. So this is 2 sine of 60 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2 times cosine of pi over 4 is 1 over square root of 2. So you get square root of 3 over 2. And similarly y would be 2 sine of pi over 3 sine of pi over 4 since uh, for 45 degrees sine and cosine equal each other in this particular case you get the same value 3 over 2 and finally z would be 2 cosine of pi over 3 right cosine of 60 degrees and that is half, so it's 2 times a half is 1. So the xyz coordinates of this are square root of 3 over 3 over 2, square root of 3 over 2, and z was 1. Okay? Uh, so this is how we convert it from um, spherical to rectangular coordinate system. Let's see if you now can do an example where we go the other way around. Okay? So example 2, 0, 2, Suppose you are given this point and this is now the uh, rectangular coordinates, okay? How we can convert the, these rectangular coordinates to the spherical coordinates, right? I should write back that rho square plus x square plus y square plus z square. Okay, so let's first find the rho. Rho would be square root of 0 square plus the square of this is. 4 times 3 is 12, plus square of this is 4, so this is square root of 16 is 4. That is your row already, okay? And how do we find, uh, for example, now phi? So we know that cosine of phi equals z over rho. So this equals z is negative 2 over rho is 4 so this is phi is the arc cosine of negative a half okay uh, we can stop it. wait I'm not 